In less than one week, a South Metro family has helped raise tens of thousands of dollars to find a cure for something called CTNNB1 syndrome. Fewer than 500 people in the world have this rare genetic condition. In severe cases, people with this syndrome are nonverbal and use wheelchairs. In Lakeville, there's a 10-month-old little girl named Lucy who has this condition, and what lies ahead for her is still unclear. The situation even more stressful for her family because this is a relatively new diagnosis and not a lot is known about it. Bab Santos shares their story. When you find out your child has this, you have to recalibrate your whole life. Almost one year old. Say hi. Megan and Charlie Heeb's daughter Lucy faces challenges brought on by a rare genetic syndrome most have never heard of. CTNNB1 syndrome affects just a few hundred people in the world, but those effects are life changing. Intellectual delay, cognitive delay, developmental delay. The syndrome can hamper nearly every aspect of life, including the ability to walk, talk, and think. Currently, there's no known treatment. So for now, Lucy is spending four days a week in physical therapy as she works on sitting up unassisted, eating solid foods when spoon fed, and trying to get on all fours to crawl. Come and get it. Oh, tired. A new path for her life on a different timeline than her parents ever expected. It's like my life just kind of went before my eyes. Right now, ahead of Lucy's first birthday on March 31st, her parents decided to start a two-month fundraiser. They're working with the CTNNB1 Foundation to do their part, trying to raise $100,000 of a total $500,000 goal to fund new CTNNB1 gene therapy, the ultimate birthday present to possibly change the life of this little girl. <laughs> Okay. And many others just like her. We have raised almost $70,000 in five days. And we're incredible. blown away. With everything going on, Megan's health has added to the family's stress. Diagnosed with chronic kidney disease, the mom of two is in need of a kidney and searching for a donor. So we're spreading the word about her syndrome and my need for a kidney, and we'll see what happens. While spreading the word, Megan has also discovered at least two other families dealing with this condition right here in Minnesota. Now just next week, all three families actually plan to get together as they lean on each other through this journey. There are also continued fundraising efforts going on in Golden Valley later this month. We have information about that at our website, fox9.com. Amy? We wish them the best. Thank you, Babs.